Hello and welcome to another episode of Happy Nipples. I'm going off of an old an old painting from 2015. It's hanging on my unfinished roof. And as usual, I have a, a very uh, funky frame of reference, but it'll help me through. Anyways, uh, so here we are, another episode. And just got this very cheap picture. Um, unfortunately, I painted over somebody's masterpiece, which in time will probably happen to this one. Well, probably by myself, <laughs> um, because it is a rather large canvas, and I might want to put a lot of love and detail in it. And if I mess up uh, uh, this, which I plan on doing very quickly, uh, then I uh, will have no problem panning over it. Okay, this is like the boob, the ribs, down, and then the leg. Right now I'm just worrying about her. I'll worry about like overlapping lines later. And then this would go around um, like that and then um, definitely like this is kind of like more of a petite sort of dancer she doesn't have these massive hooters I don't I don't think so hold on let's see how this is gonna be like more like and this is strange too because i'm painting over um over the uh spray paint which is strange so just being playful um using a beautiful canvas um that i uh like i said i may or may not like decide do i come back to this painting or do i and I just have this like big old thing here because this is a big canvas. And again, I'm looking at my my frame of reference, not worrying about those overlapping lines just yet. And then over here to the happy nipple. And then you're going to have to have some sort of, uh, well, the, the thing is this sort of statue is armless. And so, um, but she does probably need some sort of shoulder, I would think, a lats. She would need some lats and maybe a little bit of a potential or the illusion of an arm. I'm um, going back to my water here. It's nice to have water. Uh, and then, and then it is nice to be sort of on this, um, because I can just wipe it away like, uh like a dry erase board or something. I, I definitely got too much water on here, but that's okay. And here we go, just white and black at the moment. Um, so she has what a hamstring and a calf and we're making mistakes and that's okay. There is her foot that goes up into this whole arc situation and her foot is too big and, and that's okay. Everything is, fine and dandy at the moment okay she is a, a beautiful dancer uh, and and yeah I want to I want to make this better and better this is kind of my weird weird design that came from the I don't know something so out of somewhere and uh, maybe just celebrating the, the female form or what have you um, and I'm dripping, but that was okay. Stop in. It's okay. Everything is okay. Um, you can, like I said, you can see that sort of the masterpiece beneath of this black lacquer. I just spray painted it outside. I let it dry for a few hours, so I'm not getting high on the spray paint. Um, and then her other leg is coming down from from her boots into the other leg, and the other leg. Uh, will have a calf, a knee, 
And a lot of times we forget that the front, the front of the leg, it does have a slight uh, con convex because there are muscles that are on the outside of our tibia. And then with this, um, I'm running off. I'm running off. I'll show you what I'm doing down here. I don't know what exactly, but I'm going to have to lower that a little for y'all, which might cut my head off. Okay. No problem. And so her head comes in with the other part. Her head comes in and this is a trip. Um, so we go, okay. So her head comes in. We just want to make it look good on her body. We want to do that. We want to make it look pretty decent on her body. And then, okay. So we have like that. That's okay. And then, okay. And then, and then it goes into the sort of, again, we're celebrating the female form and we go, um, in this sort of, uh, this is like a figure, sort of a classic, uh, into, um, what we have, where it's just sort of the illusion of like the pel of the pelvis, really. So this could go on a male or female, but it goes down. So right below her knee, her knee is right here okay and then like that and then it goes um and you have to make these sort of sound effects when you do <laughs> when you do it you have to make sound effects okay and then so we have this like figure that goes over here and then it goes over here and i and i am making it go be behind behind this leg so we have and this is not turning out the way that I wanted to so I'm going to have to um, bring that down this should be coming up here okay and then the fit the, the like the waist I guess would be the smallest part of the waist would be right here we don't want any paint right there we uh, are coming up in this and then we, I'm making it a little different. So I'm making it like, where I think I'm going to go behind and then wrap over into kind of the resemblance. This is just the illusion of a breast, the illusion of a happy nipple. And then I'm going to have this like really cute where it goes like that. It goes, and then it goes behind itself, maybe, uh, or maybe in front of itself. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll have it go like in front, maybe in front. And this is, again, this is just these strange little illusions. And then we go into here. So, uh, or no, uh, let's see. Well, ultimately we want to make it look like well, so there'd be one, and then, uh, let's see, and that would go more over, because this, this was going to be half, this breast is going to be, and then you're imagining maybe another breast over here, you're imagining that, but we don't want that, this is just all, uh, like, uh, we don't know what's happening kind of thing. Okay, well, this is supposed to connect here, and then and then it goes like that into her face, uh, which we're we're gonna deal with at some point, and then this is is going like this somehow. Um, we'll we'll see. Hold on, let's see. Maybe it's thick, thick, and then you have to make some sort of a flow into there and so maybe that is sort of like that yeah we're might as well right might as well you do whatever you want um so here we go um now i'm gonna add some really thick white okay and there we go we got our white and our black black's basically the eraser at this point 
So, uh, we know that this is a strong line here. We're just going to go for these very strong lines. There's the happy nipple that we always go for, the rib cage, the belly, into the pelvis. <sighs> Quadricep. Okay, and then, so we know those. We're certain on these lines here. And then... We are not, <laughs> at least I am not certain on some of the others, uh, but I believe I am going to continue. I, I'm just going to continue. We want to have this sort of weaving effect. So if this one's over, um, well, the next one's certainly going to be under. So this is going to be the heavy, thick line here. And then it goes, let's see. And I, maybe that would look cute. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Well, <laughs> uh, okay you never know um well, i'm just like what do i do here okay it might look cool to be like okay like that and then no nah. see when you're not sure you should not do these things okay um, i'm just gonna have it go right up and over like that right up and over that one okay and we know this line is continuing we know that here and then we get, we have our eraser system. And so I guess we're imagining her and, and we're gonna have to take her to shave her face off a little bit. Okay. And so we're imagining this long length of like neck even up into chin and Okay, so there's maybe her nose and her, we're going to be more subtle this time, not making so much going on. Okay. Okay, there we go. And we're just being very subtle because we're imagining this is a statue. And uh, so I'm going to get a little bit wet on my paper towel and again, fix the front of this here. Shave off some of that. Just shave off a little bit. Okay, and now so this face is going into here. Well, uh, let's imagine, let's imagine that this is all hair and she has it sort of quaff, 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 and it's coming over into here because we, we need a, we need a flow, but we also need this particular situation to look like half of the torso. That's what we're going for. So here we go. I'm gonna go with these dark lines again. These are these are the ones we're sure about. And this is just like a illusion of a nipple where the lines continue to go in a flow. And it's only one line. Let's pretend that like two. Let's pretend. Oh, this is only one line. Okay, only one line. So we have this sort of, here we go. Now in the past I did it kind of different where the nipple is just like facing down. Um, and hey, hey, that's okay. This is just different, okay? So different, okay. Now, here we go. We're gonna go round and round. And the top lines, we really wanna be the brightest, and the thickest of white. So here we go. We're gonna go this line is thick white and this line is thick white. And then we just let it fade into sort of the darkness because that's where the shade is. So uh, this line is a nice dark thick white. And then her bum is a nice dark thick white. <laughs> Light thick way. <laughs> uh, okay, and then give her some kind of, yeah, like you have this shoulder blade thing going on, you know, this system, this muscles and ligaments and bones and all that stuff. Let's give her some of that. And But again, this is an illusion. This is a statue. This is a funky thing going on. We don't know what's happening here uh and that's okay all of it all art uh, is you know just try not to hurt anybody you know all right 
So here we go. And going down. Uh so it's it's gonna be it's gonna be good. It's gonna be it's gonna be tight. So there's that for her hamstring. Calf is here. Nice bright thick white line. Now this one, the last place it was was under, so it's gonna definitely be over on this situation. And I'm gonna have this hip be symmetrical with this hip. So this is what I'm working on now. So it goes around here and into here. Nice bright white line here. Okay. And into kind of the pubic bone. Again, this is totally a non-binary thing, but in this particular, well, happy nipples in general, we in general, we've been celebrating women. I, I sure hope to do some beautiful men as well. Um, all right. Happy nipples can happen everywhere. Okay. So that goes over, under, over, da da da, da And we're, we're looking okay. So far, so good. And so we have this calf fades into ankle or... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> there's her foot. Anyway, it's fading. I'm going to have to get some erasement going here. Eraser. Okay, and this is looking okay. It's weird, um, and that's okay. I've been accused of worse. Okay, uh, and then I'm going to give it a really nice base because we're going to make some sort of realism. The other one, I didn't do that. I didn't have it like having a base, but why not, you know, uh, let's, let's make this believable, and, and then we just kind of, like, get these lines going, get it, like, oh, that's a shape that has some 3D effects, and, you know, have some dripping happening, and, and, and maybe it gives it the illusion that it's a fountain. I don't know. So, anyway, here we are going into nearly 20 minutes into this thing. I think I might be able to wrap it up. At least for fun, like. At least something to look at and enjoy for a minute. And then add to. Who knows? We'll see. Uh, these bright white lines happening here and there. That would sort of overlap a little. Uh, okay, and then maybe a. So again, this we're thinking of this as a statue, so we we're being kind of minimalist uh, on the on the. Um, you know, I think I need a little water. Uh, not too much, so we're dripping like crazy, but some, and then. So, let's see. All right. I think we're good. I think we'll be all right. Um, so, the thing is, here we are, you know, wars, rumors of wars, and all the division in the world, and yada, yada. Um, I don't, you know. I don't want to go there. I don't want to make any light of it. Um, but yeah, again, this is a very distracting thing to do is to create a brand new thing. Um, whatever that is, whatever that happens to be. I think, hey, um, and I'm going to add a little black, you know. We're going to just kind of add some, definitely don't want to get too wild on the, on the white because it's becoming uh, almost one dimensional. We got to get some flavor going on in this white, you know, uh, you know, because 
every silver lining has a touch of gray, right? And um, even in the gray, yeah, I mean, why not? Because uh, people that are thinking in black and white terms, uh, like I've been off and on, uh, it is sad, is is very. All right, so here we go, here we go. Uh, this uh, is going to be lovely. She's going to shine. And might as well, you know. And I don't know, you know, what you'd call this other, other than, uh, you know, just kind of like this goddess statue sort of situation. I don't know what's going on really. But I like I liked her from the moment that I saw her. I liked her. And now I'm kind of thinking of ah, gunshots. See, that's another reason I have to paint. Ah, uh, I'm thinking of terms like, um, you know, I have neighbors that shoot guns and I had a Vietnam vet neighbor that I loved and he loved guns and I personally don't do so well with guns. I don't really like guns so much even though I'm a veteran as well. I just don't like guns so much. But anyway, uh, that's all the, beside the point. The, the point is my Vietnam vet neighbor, he never shot his guns in our neighborhood because he respected the wildlife and so anyway. I don't really like when people do that. I mean, there are gun ranges, there's places for that. And it scares like my pets and you know, well, the, the, the dogs that can hear and the cats, uh, it, it's just not fun. The deer, we love the deer. And they just, they, they kind of like sleep in our yard and we just see their babies in the spring. They're nice, they're nice deer, you know? So you have kind of these intercostal muscles, uh, sort of this, sort of this part coming up, these sort of abs. And now this is not perfect. Come on, I am not perfect. Uh, but here, we are gonna create a happy nipple, uh, and that comes up. Oh, it's kind of coming up like woo, and then like, uh, you know the thing with happy nipples is you just get this areola. So just, you know, you can get playful with it. I, I kind of like like a little texture. It's kind of, those things are weird, you know? The areoles are kind of uh, weird. <laughs> Female bodies are weird. Like the dysmorphia that I had growing up was really intense, you know? Like, what is this stuff coming off of my body, you know? And uh, yeah, being a woman, you have to bleed and all these things. Uh, it's not easy, and I'm making another like potentially. Oh no, that's not bad. That's not. <laughs> it's like it's gonna be terrible. Okay, and then it goes into like I said, this kind of hair like situation that's coming into the other breath. So uh, we're almost there as far as like I say where I want to go with this today. Uh, I'm gonna add a little light, 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 and. We are imagining, uh, you know, happy nipples, love, impossible sculptures. I'm like, hey, I want to make concrete sculptures because that's kind of like an art form I really want to get into. And um, little ones, you know, but but maybe like bird baths or, and, and I'm like, yeah, let's make this, you know. <laughs> right, let's get some rebar up in this thing. And, no, no, this would be impossible. So, here we are, another happy, happy episode of Happy Nipples. And I am your host, Jody Rossin. Again, I have to give dibs to the, the main players out there, man. Like, like I say, like, there's, come on, like, I mean, Picasso and Dali and... Frida and, uh, you know, all these greats, you know, that came out of something and saw something and did amazing art. And then also I have to celebrate, uh, you know, Fred Rogers for his amazing uh, breakthrough sort of art in the television 
and um, you know sharing himself and being vulnerable and making mistakes. And I have to give dibs, of course, to Bob Ross. Of course, that's why this is called Happy Nipples. And um, all of the greats uh, out there who have inspired me with their arts that were not painting, like, um, you know, we have Mozart and Bach and, uh, you know, <laughs> you know, all of these wonderful, wonderful uh, people. Uh, lovely too lovely to mention uh musicians out there in the world whom uh, you know i can't even name all of them because yeah there's too many oh whatever happens to be the latest tiny desk concert definitely adding some more dark um because you're thinking about weight you want to have some weight, um, you know, under your thing. So, uh, you know, this line is coming before that, and 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 there's some weight there. There's some, and, and then and then you have uh, this. This is darker, and uh, this is darker, uh, and and it's darker. You know, you get some dark uh, under there. Now again, I'm very disappointed. Um, <laughs> disappointed is a failure, uh, a failure to meet expectations. Uh, so I've heard that off and on. My only, I'm disappointed in Jody, and I agree. I, I disappoint myself. Okay, so here is the forehead, the nose. Once again, it's like deja vu. I, didn't I do this in the last episode where I was like cussing and swearing over her face? Um, you know what? I'm doing pretty good on not cussing too much. Maybe I haven't at all. I don't know. Uh, so there's like an eye, smile, Mona Lisa smile. Um, too big of a smile, really. Um, and let's see, chin. Yeah, you don't want to get this smile that sort of goes on like a cat or something, you know, like. We don't have that that sort of shape of face, the shape of the jaw. If we do, we'd be like eating bigger things, I guess, able to consume really massive things like watermelons or something. Okay, and I think we are very close to the end here. It's like you know, everybody gets to a point in life where they have to say uh I'm done and I, I'm almost there, you know. I am. It's so great. It's a great feeling when you're uh when you're very alive. <laughs> I'm thinking of that and we're going to have a happy new day. Uh you know, I love him. Uh, okay, so uh Oh, and I just, I think, rubbed against this. And so we're going back here. I think I got a little bit like striated muscles here. You know, a little bit of like texture. Um, now this leg is quite a bit thinner, so I'm going to thicken it up to somewhat match the other one. It's okay because it's going down into the stand here. Clearly, we're not <sighs> perfect. Okay. Last few strokes, and we'll call it good. All right. A little bit of a bend to the knee, I would say. Yeah, for sure. Because it's a lot of weight that she's holding up with her, with her stance. Okay. Okay. And you sing, you can always sing to your penny. Ooh, child, things are gonna get easier. Ooh, child, things will get brighter. Okay. And just keep going. Uh, you know, it'd be fun to do some finger painting, but I'm actually going somewhere and I don't want to have to take a shower again. Uh, okay. 
Uh, so, but finger painting would be nice, you know, you're giving it the extra massage at the end. Okay, and here we go. I think, I think this is almost done. A little bit more white in here. Um, yeah. A little bit here. Uh, wow. So, yeah, a lot of messy, uh, messiness here, you know. We, we do have those, you know, very abstract artists to think. And, um, you know, most of them had extremely realistic paintings before they started. And, um, anyway, it's freaking mess. Uh, <laughs> is it done? Probably not. Okay. And I hope everybody has a lovely, lovely day. Here we go. Here we go. And uh, adios. Okay. I'm back. I'm back. Uh, definitely need more white paint. I realized when I took a picture of this thing that I wasn't properly weaving it. I mean, basically, if this part is going under, then this part has to go over. And this face is not just like a full face. It's it's just like just the illusion of one. So it's just this illusion of a face. like, And it goes actually over. So this is when I was in the beginning. I was like, oh, don't worry about the lines, you know, until later. Well, I didn't worry about these lines. And, and now I have to because... Uh, yeah, it, it, this is part of the thing that kind of ties this weird shape, this impossible sculpture together. Uh, this part is definitely floating, but you know, maybe at some point there's some hidden little piece of rebar or bolt that's keeping it together. I don't know. But again, we're making these lines a little bolder, and I could come through here for another hour to do this. And I guess that would look cool on like time lapse, but again, I got I got places to go, people to see, and uh, and so I'm just throwing it down, like, and maybe gonna think, what do I want to do when I come back to it? And this is gonna be fun to come back to, and uh, in the meantime. I got a little bit of a wet rag here, gonna kind of get this going and get it going. Okay. Shoop. I think it looks fabulous. People, um, you know, just gotta love whatever you create so much, whether it be like your kids, your painting. Not that you're really creating your kids, but you know what I'm saying. Like whatever, whatever is is is, is that, that you happen to be a part of, you gotta freaking love it. All right, and I'm gonna tilt this down. Oh, sorry, and then here's the bottom again. Uh, we're gonna go with this kind of yeah, or the stand here. Um. All right, I think I think it's gonna be all right. Um. I don't know if this statue is is going to maybe hold up, um, you know, like I say, uh, the rebar and the strength of the concrete might make make uh, her topple over for sure or break, uh, but hey, we're giving it a shot and that's all you can do with these impossible things. Uh, is to give give it a shot and okay i just can i can go on and on okay well may uh this lovely end of uh, 2023 treat you uh, with the loveliest regard and i i hope you uh, experience love, feel love, and are able to to, to create uh, something, <laughs> and, uh, and 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 get lost in in it in the process. Thank you.